everyone welcome back to my channel so we're going to do a bit of an autumnal design today i am going to do some smile lines these are atrocious <laughs> uh, if you're trying to do smile lines don't do it the way i do it um the beads i picked up were far too wet and um yeah the the smile lines were actually too far down the nail i really struggled with it actually and i kept thinking why and part of it is, is obviously I'm doing it on tips, but the tips don't actually fully fit the practice hand. So I'm kind of going by the edges of the tip rather than the edges of the what would be the fingernail. So I need to I need to move them forward a bit, I think. And um, <laughs> yes, I need to practice these a bit more. Um. But yeah, I don't do enough smile lines. I am using Caramel Dream from Nao Nails. And that was the other mistake I made. Caramel Dream is beautiful. It's a lovely nude colour. But it works differently to the other core powders. I can't explain why it does. But it just, it just does. So I'm picking up the bead as I would normally pick up a bead. You know, I, I dip, well, dab, whatever you want to call it, for three. Um... But it was still too wet. It it just doesn't, and I could I just forgot completely the fact it doesn't work that way. We got there in the end. I still like this set. Never mind. <laughs> but yes, my smile lines are far too far, far too far, far 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 far. Right. Yes, so I'm going to do another smile line on this finger and then we're going to move on. And I'm trying to remember what I was using. I think we've got Brisbane bronze and metallic gold. And then we're using a glitter and it's from Glitter Stella. Chocka Mocha, Mocha Chocka, Mocha Chocka. That's the one, Mocha Chocka. I knew it was coffee. And I'm just like, mm, it's brilliant. <gasps> Speaking of Glitter Stella, it's soon going to be the advent time. If you are new to my channel and you don't know what I'm talking about, I do the 25 Glitters of Christmas. I get the Glitter Stella advent calendar. I am not endorsed by Glitter Stella whatsoever. I just really like her calendars. Um, and then I make 25 videos. Um, so one a day for your enjoyment in December. Um... It can be Christmassy, it can be not Christmassy. It's basically like a little challenge because I will open the glitter, you know, that particular day and then create a design that day. That's how it works. Um, so, yeah, it's a little challenge that I set myself and, yeah, people seem to enjoy it. So, I think this will be the third year that I've done it, actually. Um, it, it's like both excitement and nerves all at the same time. <laughs> Because there are sometimes you get something you just go, I have no clue what I'm doing with that. So on this nail, we are going to be doing a marble. Now, Brisbane bronze is very transparent. Yeah, you, if you wanted to build with this, you know, like build a, a solid colour, it does require quite a bit. It's not one you can just paint on, as you can see. <clears throat> But we're going to marble with it so it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to put in three wet beads now. So Brisbane Bronze, we're going to put some of the Caramel Dream. And then we're going to put some of the Metallic Gold in there as well. I really like these together. Not a lot of people marble with the core powder in it as well. But I really like it. I find, I don't know, for me, it just kind of ties it all in a bit more. Because, you know, if you're using a core powder for the nail beds, why not then have it in the marble? You know, otherwise you've just got these really, really funky marbles, but the nail beds look odd because they don't tie in with anything. Does that make sense? Yeah, I just like the flow. There you go. And it's a beautiful marble. I thoroughly loved these. The thumb is going to be exactly the same. As I've just done on the uh, pinky.
So on this middle nail, I am going to middle 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 nail. There, I can't get my words out today. <gasps> on this middle nail, <laughs> I am just going to put a wash of the Brisbane bronze underneath, and then we're going to do a full nail of the glitter, which is the uh, mocha chocker. Chocker mocha, mocha chocker, chocker mocha. I don't know which way around it is, but it's it's got mocha and it's got chocker in it. Which a mocha has chocker in it anyway. Hmm, odd. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just going to pick up a small bead of clear acrylic, dip it in to my raw glitter and come and put that in. And then I decided I wanted a couple of bits just in, because it's got, it's got loads of different things. You've got little flowers, you've got little hearts. Um, yeah, I, I love this glitter. I really like this one. Um, so I decided I was going to pull some bits out and I'm going to pop those onto the marble as well. When I have finished poking glitter around, um, as boring as it probably is to watch poking glitter around, it is quite important that you do poke your glitter around. Don't just splodge it on and hope for the best. Um, especially with a really chunky glitter like this, you do have to work it. And also, if you're using a really chunky glitter, don't forget to put something underneath. Um, unless, of course, you want it clear. Hmm. I personally don't like to see my natural nails underneath my nails. Um, so I like to cover it up. There you go. As you can see, I'm just picking, picked up a small bead of clear, popped it on where I kind of want these to go. And then I'm just going to poke them on and I'm just going to do exactly the same then onto the thumb. I'm desperately rushing through videos so that I can clear all my videos off. <laughs> Ready to start making new things. I even bought a phone, uh, This the phone I've got at the minute. Um, I bought it so it had like extra storage and everything and I still managed to use up all my storage. Generally when I'm doing my sister's videos actually, um, I normally have to clear down before I do her videos because it just takes up so much. And it's not just the, the actual videoing, it's when you then go to edit it and you save it back to your phone before I can upload it. Yes, I know people can do it on the computer, I don't like it. I like the fact it's on my phone because it means that I can be sat watching telly, um, <clears throat> you know, with the kids around or whatever and just sit there on my phone editing and whatnot. Obviously, I have to come up somewhere quiet to do the voiceover part, but it just makes it easier that it's on my phone to do it um, rather than being sat on the computer. Right, so I've done that and then right so i'm going to come in and i'm going to do a bit of capping and then in the um smile line ones i'm going to come in with just some of the metallic gold i'm going to just going to let you watch this because i really am running out of time to get this done and uploaded before i've got to go out i'm very sorry i will do better <laughs>
So as I said, I've got the metallic gold and I'm just pushing that right up the wings. Um, one thing with my smile lines, I do make them thicker in height wise than I would normally do because I like to make a mess. Well, I just make a mess, to be honest. And I know the fact I make a mess. So it means that after this is dried, when it comes to filing, I don't have to worry so much. I've got plenty of room to file down. Um, yeah. There you go. In case you're wondering, that's why I do it. I've also got some new nail tips, which is why there's a thumb involved in this video. <laughs> Right, so we're going to fill that in. And once I'm happy with that, then we will cap those. Okay, and now I have filed all those. They are ready to be top coated, which is the best part. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this design. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next ones. Which, like I say, I'm taking a week off um, of videos, which is the last week in November. Um, this is to prepare for all of the Christmas videos, well, the Advent videos that are coming. So don't panic if I haven't uploaded a video. It is on purpose. But I really hope you'll be back for the Advent ones. Catch you later. Bye.